Okay, so Jen, you know how we have no money after the budget cuts? Of course I know that. Well, I've got an idea for us to get a little extra money on our hands. I'm listening. Okay, so I've got this friend, he's got this company, wants to market his product to college students. He's going to throw a pretty decent amount of change away if he sponsors the show. I like it. What is it? Well, i got two words for you then. Astroglide. Astroglide? Hmm. You know what this is. Premium personal lubricant. Is this good for my hair? Hello and welcome to the Calbear Report. I'm Peter Banks Kenny here with Jennifer May. No, I'm Jennifer May. Today is Thursday, February 25th, 2010, and here are today's top stories. Brought to you by Astroglide. Just jam it in. Former Vice President Dick Cheney had his fifth heart attack this week. Apparently, even his own heart wants that man dead. A group of students at UC San Diego are coming under fire recently for holding an off-campus party entitled Compton Cookout. The Facebook page for the event encouraged guests to show up dressed in gold chains and FUBU sweatshirts. This is, of course, in line with the recent push by the university to replace their reputation of anonymity with one of explicit racism. Tim Burton's Alice in Wonderland comes out next week. It stars Johnny Depp and Helena Bonham Carter, much like every other Tim Burton film. To fully understand the story of Alice in Wonderland, it is best to view it while under a hallucinogen, much like every other Tim Burton film. We all know Astroglide is great. But sometimes I feel like it's hard to pick just one way to use it. So here's a list of the top five uses for Astroglide. Number five, to simulate a crisp morning's dew on your artificial lawn. Number four, to get an A in that astronomy class. Number three, to provide your only source of entertainment while watching Tim Burton's new film, Alice in Wonderland. Number two, for all of your space luge needs. And the number one use for Astroglide? Fucking. <laughs> well, wasn't that fun? <laughs> Almost as fun as a night with Astroglide. <laughs> <gasps> Let's send it over to our correspondent, Dennis Averson. Hi, guys. I'm Hans Schmuller, and I am feeling light in my loafers today, because we are going to talk about sexuality. It's raining, Could you invite any of your boyfriends over so they can spank my naked ass? Um, I'm just going to say a few things, and... How about you just finish the phrase or the sentence? Whatever pops into your head. Blow. Me. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Muscle. Nut. Job. Is there any like thong that particularly puts you in the mood to get freaky? Uh, the thong song is always a good one. The thong song by Cisco? That's... Blumpkin. I've seen I've seen vagina, so she has vagina there. Okay, okay. There's so, uh, <laughs> would you prefer a song about her getting poked in the face by my penis, or Roma, Roma, Roma. Okay. or a gay man like myself? Um, I technically haven't sucked a penis yet. Do you have any advice to give for someone at a straight perspective? I've never done it either. I've heard it's like a lollipop. Um, don't forget about the balls. The balls. Yeah, what should I do with the balls? Them. Just touch them. Grope them. Sure. Should they be shaved? That is up to you. <laughs> well, thank you, Dennis, for that thoughtful and revealing piece. Yes, it was interesting, Dennis. I don't get to send it to my mommy, but <laughs> it was wonderful. So, uh... I think that's going to do it for us here on the uh, on the Cal Bear Report, brought to you by, by Astro Glide. <laughs> and uh, I'm Jennifer May. And I'm Peter Banks Kenny. We're going to see you next week for you. another episode of the Cal, Cal Bear, Bear Report. Cal Bear Report. <laughs>